Hey friends, Donovan here, fretspot.com. I got a uh, cool base to show you, but uh, I'm gonna warn you now that if you fall in love with it and have to have this one, you're out of luck because this baby's already been adopted. Um, but uh, it's too amazing to not share with you guys, so I wanted to uh, <clears throat> make sure that all of my friends, uh, fellow bass and Federa bass, especially addicts, get to see this thing. So, uh, like my shirt, by the way. Pretty nice, right? Anyway, so uh, without with no further ado, and sorry, the lighting's kind of funky in here. It's uh, nighttime, and so I'm sitting in my house with all of the uh, the normal indoor lighting, so everything looks kind of yellowish. Uh, this base I'm going to show you is not this yellow in real life. So <laughs> anyway, okay, you ready? En enough of my jabberwocking. All right, here we go. So what we've got here, ta cow! Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So what we have here is a Federa obviously and uh, this is a um, uh, an Emperor 5 and uh, it's for a good buddy of mine uh, and customer whose name is James Bay uh, off in Singapore or actually I think now he's in China either way uh, he's a bit away from Springfield Missouri we'll put it that way uh, anyways this was uh, his this is his and um, I uh, like what happens a lot of times with Federa is I had uh, um, a base on order, not this one, something totally different. And uh, he contacted me, James did, and said that uh, he'd be interested in buying it for there. We kept talking, and uh, I had this build slot that I already had uh, just a stock order in for. And we were able to convert that over to exactly what he wanted, which was a different model. I think I had a five string Emperor II, I think is what it was. Um, anyways, not that it's important anymore. And so we switched this over to, uh, to this for him, uh, which is really cool. So uh, with this thing, uh, we got to pick out the um, Buckeye Burl top that we are using here. Federa was kind to send us some pictures, and we picked the one that we like best. And James decided he wanted the um, uh, the Duncan dual coils with the wood pickup covers, which is a beautiful choice. I love the way that that brings in the color of the fretboard. Uh, board. Fret uh, anyway, and I'm glad that we didn't... Uh, use like the top because I think that may be a little too much. This like really ties in and it's beautiful. And then um, really high quality abalone dots. I can't see. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, let's see, of course, Federa Bridge. And this is the Federa Pope preamp, which I'll get to in just a second. And he uh, opted for the uh, inset strap locks. <laughs> wow! Check that out. Um... And, of course, we got the matching headstock with the Federa logo. Got to have that. But, dude, check out the uh, wings on this headstock. It's uh, flame maple. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Both sides. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think I can talk like that since it comes from Brooklyn. Uh, brass nut. Just amazing. And uh, um, walnut back. I mean, God, I mean let's just look the way that they bevel those things, and they've got the sexiest neck joint in the world. That thing is just gorgeous. Or gorgeous, sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, awesome, in it? And then, uh, you know, the Federa pre I don't, I, you know, most of you probably already know this, but just in case, a lot of times, people who watch my videos don't always know all the specs and stuff, but with this Federa Pope preamp, we, on this, uh, we got a concentric, stacked concentric knob here. And on the top, we've got volume, and on the bottom, we have, uh, a traditional tone control which is pretty cool and then here is um, the pickup blend for neck to uh, bridge and then bass mid treble and then I, I think I'm gonna get this right so uh, if I'm wrong someone correct me but uh, this is active passive I know that's active passive um, I think I'm pretty sure this is single coil um, and then humbucking so humbuckings down single coils up and then I believe uh, this is a mid cut. So uh, when it's down, it's not engaged. When it's on, it's engaged. I think that's what's happening here. So um, anyway, I'll play around with it and confirm that for sure. But uh, so that's the Federa Pope Bramp, which sounds great. Um, this base, uh, I haven't weighed it yet. It's not a light base. Um, I'm guessing about 11 pounds is my guess, between 11 and 11 and a half, something like that. Um, but just the quality of the wood, I mean, this wood is so rich. I don't know how well it's going to show up in this lighting in my webcam, but it's just gorgeous. So, gorgeous. Anyway, 
Looking at my face cracks me up when I say that. Okay, anyway. So, uh, anyway, so let's all congratulate my good buddy, uh, James, on this beautiful bass. And uh, I had a couple minutes here to uh, whip out a video for it. So, um, and it's part of my duty as one of the premier bass retailers in the world, <laughs> thanks to you guys. Um, that, And I think it's the thing that sets me apart is that um, I will play all the bad notes and sloppy timing and poor technique I play them out of the base so I ring it out so by the time you get it I mean it's just nothing but fresh grooves and impeccable touch and playing now with the Federa they do most most of that already so there there wasn't a whole lot for me to ring out um, so that's why this video is gonna be pretty short um, but uh, you know I'm able to play things in a way that most people can't play them that poorly so Anyway, so enough about that, but uh, let's hear a little bit of it and let you guys check it out. Thank you. 
Thank you.